Hey, what the hell's going on, you guys? It's Triple Play Negative AE, and welcome back to another episode of Agante. Today we're playing the good old Ranger experienced combo. It's a it's a very good combo for these guys, considering their trees are pretty short. Like uh, if you look at the pet offense tree, like that's three. Pet utilities three. You know, clubs four, and bond is four. When uh, you could have like a five tree, you know, uh, but. This class doesn't have any of that, so it's really good to just get that first level out of the way and uh, just be that much closer to finishing out your build. The cool thing about this class is you can finish out your build pretty early, and then um, you can finish out your build pretty early, and then because your build has been finished out early, did I just take damage? Fucking idiot, I swear, sometimes. Uh, you can finish out your tree and then kind of go into other trees um, as soon as you possibly can, which is good. That's chicken. That's a good get. Uh, I don't know what the, what the what are the chances to find chicken. I wonder. Like, what's the exact chance? I gotta start getting out getting the the numbers down of this game. This game is very like. <clears throat> this game does a lot of uh, increases your your strength. But it doesn't tell you by like how much strength. It just tells you that it increases strength. I had to figure out like how much health everything has. I know that slimes have nine health. That's pretty much the only piece of information I have. And I think, I think they might have. I don't know. I think uh, bandits might have more. What is this dog doing? Didn't I call him just now? Are you fucking? Are you kidding me? I have to like pick him up and move him to a different spot. Stop that dog. Okay, my dog is uh needs to stop going in the water. My dog is not very good. Got him. Our dog's almost dead, which is actually not that bad, um, in the sense. As long as we can keep, like, a health bar reserved for the boss, um, I think we're pretty good, you know? Okay. I'm gonna let the boss kind of follow us around a little bit here. We'll revive the dog so that way he can help us fight. There we go. Thank you, dog. A lot of the stuff is like, I feel like you want to help your dog a lot more than you need to. Oh, wow, that was interesting. I feel like you want to help your dog a lot more than you need to, right? Like, your dog is pretty good on his own. He just needs to kind of, um... Explosion Master, huh? Wonder, uh... Ooh, and bombs. Interesting. We also got another chicken, which I don't know if it is even possible to... Didn't we get a chicken up, up there? Pretty sure we found two chickens on this floor. Okay, thank you, dog. I didn't want to crush my dog. I didn't want to crush my dog, so I didn't want to throw a boulder at him. Uh, we're just going to pick up the chicken and be on our way, I believe. Actually, you know, we're not going to do that. We'll put the chicken right there for now. And my dog is stuck. Dog, I'm going to need you to calm down. Come to me. Oh, he is, uh, he is dead set on jumping into that wall a bunch. That's fine. You know, so dogs gonna have a little bit of fun too. You know, can't be all hunting. And they gotta play when they can. Also, has my mouse been there the entire time? I apologize. Don't pay any attention to my mouse. It has a mind of its own. Oh look, he's here. Okay, I think that's it for this. All those up there was a ring. Um, it's a decent. Ring, I guess. I mean, it gives lightning resist, which is good. 
So we're gonna do critical hit there. Get that upgraded as soon as possible before we hit the forest. Oh my god, it's Worm. I was totally expecting it to be um, Bandit Leader. This is this game. I, I, I never expect Worm on second floor. Although it's better to get Worm on second floor than it is Bandit, because I feel like you take the most damage with Worm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'd rather have Worm on second floor because there's Fairy on... Ow. Because there's Fairy on second floor. Crazy. Really? Okay, well, if you. Uh, <laughs> you really not gonna fight me because. Son of a. I was going to say, please don't fight him. Thank you. Oh my god. Dog is fucking fearless. <laughs> this is, he's, he's doing stuff that, like, I would never do. Or I, I would only do before as, like... I only used to, like, face tank bosses before because, like, I didn't know how to fight them. And, to be honest, some of the bosses... Like, who do I not know how to fight? Um, no, I know how to fight God Hand boss. Probably the boss that gives me the most trouble is Life Steal boss. Boss in the rift that has Life Steal. Is that, do I have suddenly increase his weapon reach on him? That was insane. Um, okay. So we're going to um, the secret area or the, the hidden area. Here, it's just kind of a uh, something that yeah, if you can do it, you should. Um, I think that's probably the best uh, the best form of action. Just like if if uh, you can sacrifice fairy, you should do it. It just depends on how much risk you're willing to take, right? Like if you took a lot of damage on the second floor, it might just be better just to take the fairy just to nullify the nullify the damage there, um, but. I don't know. It really depends on um, your preference, really. Like, but before, when I first started out, I was like, fuck taking um, or sacrificing fairy. That sounds like a terrible idea, because then you lose all the health, and it's a health uh, gain. Like, why would you do that? But then slowly, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll need another stat boost, you know? So, um, I've kind of, like, adapted to kind of prefer... I am an idiot. I've seen that layout before too. That's another thing is when you when you play Vagante a lot, you you see a lot of uh, reoccurring. Um, oh, that's not good. You see a lot of reoccurring formats like like this one over here is very common. Kind of get used to it after a while, which is good. Uh, I like that about the game. Okay, so there's shopkeeper over there. Do we need shopkeeper? Doesn't even look like he had anything good anyway. All right, we're gonna be uh, going on into the ice guy, the ice guy's cave now. I, now he does, dog does die pretty fast. To ice guy. Um, it's just gonna be interesting to see whether or not we can. Uh, Defeat him. We're gonna do limit break because I feel like it would be easier for our dog to get damage. I feel like rushing that tree is probably the. Ow. That was not what I wanted to do, I promise. That was not, like, e even in the slightest of what I had in my mind.
Tak, będziemy. The thing with the thing with dog is you want to try to limit the amount of damage he takes here um, be, just because Just because uh, the the damage that he takes is like not good because he needs the um, He needs all the damage he can get for uh, This coming boss we'll do uh Keep uh, as long as you can keep it uh, pretty. Oh fuck. Nope. Nope. Well, that's helpful. Nope. Uncursed, great. Uh, that's bad. Blows enemies. Not a bad take, actually. It's even a little bit better. So we'll just we'll just take that. careful here thank you dog thank you lord i hate those guys okay so um we have everything all set up we're gonna need to probably play a little bit on the side of chaos here um so let's do that we're gonna play like this we're on fire we're teleporting love that we teleported into enemies Got another one of chaos. That's what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Okay, we got enemies aggroed on me. magic going on okay um, we played kind of Russian roulette with the uh, <laughs> with the shit here uh, this will be an interesting fight for sure ooh death becomes easier to encounter not very good for us Oh my god, super speed fucking me up once again. Playing Russian roulette with these potions and we finally got a rush. <laughs> we should have we should have pulled out with the um Oh my goodness, this is going to be rough. We're going to stick with you. Nice dog, nice. Nice. Nice.
Where's he going? Where's he going? Nice. Uh, we we pulled the bad hand. Uh, this is a. Uh... <laughs> We pulled the bad hand, but in the end, um, with the help of our dog, we were able to pull that through there. Um, basically, to kind of sum up, to kind of sum up the events. Of that whole situation. Um, uh, we, we entered in with not so great health uh, because of our difficulty trying to take out the spawners. The spawners got us real low, so what we did is we tried to play Chaos. Well, it wasn't real low. What we did was we tried to play Chaos Wand, which uh, hurt us more than it uh, did good for us, uh, which is not necessarily a good thing in that fight. Um, we also tried to play Roulette with the potions, and we found negative vitality right away, which is amazing. And Potion of Poison, which is also, like, so good. I love it. Um, it's just, uh, it's just crazy how bad a hand we're getting right now. Um, and we don't have enough HP to play Darkness, so we won't be able to play that, even though it's there. Um, we did manage to defeat it, though, and we have a bunch of books that we can kind of uh, rely on, so... I'm gonna wait kind of for this, um... Actually, no, I'm just gonna go through. Not lose any more health than I, than I need to right here. Um... We're gonna heal up. We're just gonna keep going. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start on Pet Bond here. I'm um, seeing as we found negative vitality already, we, there's no chance of us getting it there. We'll also get rid of some books that we don't need, which is good for us. Um, Featherfall, okay. So this is like Enchant or something. Recharge. Oh, that's Uncursed. Fuck. All right, uh, let's try to salvage this run, shall we? I mean, it's, we're off to a bad start, but I've pulled, I've come back from worse before. Uh, we just have to worry about the spiders at this uh, point in the game. Spiders and um, piranha plants that eat you. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to deal with. Um, we are still poisoned, so that's just wonderful news. Our dog is going to die pretty fast in the forest, so we kind of have to deal with all the bosses ourselves. Like this situation right here. Okay. We need to call our dog to some safe ground here. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Hurry up. We need our dog over here. Uh, if our dog can stay here, that would be great. Um, and then just kind of deal with Golem Boss as much as we can. Got Glass Blade. It's pretty good. We'll need to stick up here for just a little bit. Life Steal is very good. Although not very good in this fight. We have six arrows to make this work. He can get up here. Which is why I'm scared a little bit. I knew he was going to throw that. I hate that that guy's over here now. I'm hoping that, uh, well, I mean, my hope is that this is going to be a longer run. Okay. So we're, we're an explosion master. Let's equip some bombs. Let's see what we can do. No harm, no foul if we kill. Okay. We did a couple of things there. Uh, we killed Golem Boss with a couple of bombs. It looks like we do 197 with the bombs. <laughs> uh, which is pretty crazy. That was pretty good. Um... 
We also killed the book of, or the what's his name? What's the guy that gives you books? The guy that calls you stupid whenever he you destroy him? Scholar. I don't know why I couldn't think of that name. Okay, let's try this one. Spike protection, not bad. Uh, minus luck, uh, but it's better than our previous armor. And we can probably get some stuff away here before we get too overwhelmed. Four items, huh? All four, thank you. They still gave me something good. Um, we do need a new club. It's not good, though. I was gonna say... It's, it's like a normal ass club. It's like slightly better than my other club. I guess it has knockback on it, so that makes it a little bit good. Um, honestly, we're not going to get a better dagger than the one that we kind of have already. I would rather a club than a sword. Although, if it's going to give me a sword that's good, I'll take it. That's not good. I mean, damage to gold isn't bad, to be honest with you. Uh, if we had coins Helia... We had a, we will have a pretty good shit on our hands, so I think we keep that uh, just for future purposes. We're definitely getting rid of super speed boots, so don't need those. And another sword, huh? Knockback luck. Uh, the... It's not working with us. It's not working out very well for us. Um... This, the, this game, the game is trying... There's games that I'll have that are... You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with uh, golems. They uh, change your run in a heartbeat. Uh, mercenary graves. 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 We're all set there. And then just kill this guy before he has a chance to inflict his damage. Now we're going to need to play it a little bit safe here. Because um, I do not want to die. I also want to try to get as much lifesteal as possible. Um, kind of set up on these easy enemies. We can call our dog back over. Um, just because I don't think there's any piranha plants anymore, which is good. Death becomes easier to encounter or magic mapping. I think we buy another magic. Oh, and as I say that, look at the piranha up there. Okay, dog, you're going to sit right there. Cool. Got that all sitting squared. Look at my dogs having a stare down with the... Uh, the guy over there, the shopkeeper. Um, I think we're all set. I think we're done here. Which is interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how I handle this next floor. The game is not working well with us. We could very much die to the secret room or the secret world in this area, but we'll see. Uh, flame pillar, we don't need either of those. We're back at 70 health, which is kind of amazing considering... We were at 11 before this level. Thank you, dog, for taking the initiative. Okay. Yeah. Good. I almost want you to sit there. Okay, we just healed that damage right back making sure there's no enemies that I can kind of fight. Oh, we do have f slow aura, which is going to help a lot with things. Uh, so is battle axe. It depends on how good the battle axe is, though. Ooh, that's, that's some good, uh... Good job, dog. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't get hit by that. Okay, um... Cool, we got the two. Yeah, this is going to help us lifesteal a lot better. Okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna be able to get some some. The cool thing about Battle Axe Life Steal is that uh, it does so much damage that it's almost a guaranteed Life Steal a hit, uh, which is good because um, sometimes you can kill somebody with a a dagger and not get the Life Steal, and um, just not not very good. Uh, whereas like one hit from this thing is almost guaranteed to give you some results. Except there. So maybe I'm just... Are you fucking serious? Did that just happen? Did that just happen? Are you a fucking... Is every enemy, like, gone bonkers? What the f... Every enemy's like, I'm gonna do 80 damage to you. How are you not dead? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, hit him once. Okay, so this is gonna be a weird situation in which I don't know if I need slow hits or fast hits. Uh, versus Vine Boss... I'm trying to think of which one I want more. Because we have a fast hit dagger, um, but we also have some... I think I'm going to go with some heavy hits. I'm going to try to uh, get down there without alerting the spider. Of course. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And there goes my dog. You can tell that my dog's gonna die when uh, when you see a golem of any kind approaching. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take care of him. Oh yeah, I forgot that life still doesn't work on wisps. What we'll need to do is take out this golem. Revive dog. Have dog come up here. A good spot for him to be, actually, if he could just stay there. We're actually uh, doing a pretty good job. We're actually doing a pretty good job. Um, kind of avoiding... A lot of damage there. I mean, the life still definitely helped. Okay, good. <gasps> Fuck! I was like, oh, dude, you know what sounds like a good idea is getting that shit. Alright, well, we're gonna skip one of the things. Not that we'll even get to the final boss anyway. Um, but we had the potential of making a full full run if I would have been stupid. I have to get that through my thick skull that um, that I, I don't want to get the chest on the second level or every level. Because now what we'll have to do is we'll have to fight Wisp. Um, I'd rather fight the Manticore, actually. Is that what he's called? He's called like the Manticore, right? Alright, so now our damage is split. That's pretty that's pretty neat. Seeing as he can revive and I can't. Uh, we're gonna just have you sit right there uh, as soon as I saw the situation here Cool Let's roll of identify there real quick uh, We'll also be able to pick up this ice ball scroll. I, you know, I used to like ice ball a lot ice ball is one of the spells that um It was, it was one of those spells that, like, it's good because it handled Golem Boss. G Golem Boss was pretty much the deciding factor of what I thought was good and what wasn't back in the day. It was like, can it? You need to stop. I see two giant golems down there, and I know. I, I know as soon as I see golems or plants that my dog is dead. And I don't want my dog to die if he doesn't have to die. Ooh. 
Oh, good. Fucking great. Thank you, dog. I was like, fuck, I need my dog here. As soon as I got eaten, I was like, ah, I should have had my dog. Um, are we, are we, like, man enough to take that? I think we can if we don't take any damage from, um, if we do well, if we do well against this boss, I'll, I'll take darkness a bunch. Oh my goodness, what the fuck is going on over here? Dog! I need you not to get abducted, please. I saw him out of the corner of my eye just getting abducted. Oh my god. Fucking piece of crap. Stop eating my dog! Oh no. Stay there. Thank God. My dog's getting freaking, um... My dog's getting stupid with the amount of, uh, enemies he's trying to, trying to fight here. Thank goodness, please don't notice me going. Ah, uh, fuck. I was like, guess who's gotta notice me now? I need to kill this golem before I take on, uh... Oh, that was, that was too scary of a situation. You had Golem coming down from above, raining fucking insta-death whenever he pleases. Like, just, there's another Golem up there. Uh, and then you also had freaking Sly, or, or Wisp Boss coming down, uh, preventing me from going up and trying to kill Golem. It was an interesting situation that I found myself in. Uh, Featherfall, that's definitely better than whatever we had. Uh... We're just gonna leave our dog down there. And I think we're... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're not good. I need Golem to come down here. If at all possible, I would need him to come down here. Okay. Now if I can just fight Golem dead, cool. I'll be able to use this thing, which will help us out in the long run. Give me more. Wow, fucking thank you, thank you. That was good. That opened, we'll get the brown scroll and our identify scroll and some gloves, which is pretty good. And we are the explosion master. Suddenly increases weapon reach is good. Explosion master. Explosion master gives me the vitality though. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. What did this guy have in his shop? Bullshit. He has bullshit in his shop, that's fine though. Uh, off to the catacombs, where I will most... Probably die, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the dog's gonna probably help out a lot, as far as that goes. 
see if we can get maybe an ending. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's too early to tell. I could like fuck up on spikes and die here. Um, this is a make it or break it type of a uh, make it or break it type of thing here. Do I have spike protection? I have feather fall. I don't know if that counts though. As long as we can keep ourselves healthy. As long as we can keep ourselves healthy. That's what that's what I gotta keep telling myself, and that's what I gotta see. Uh, did we find like that? I don't think we found vitality up yet, so that that's good. And we already found vitality down, so there's no real reason for us to get kind of caught up here. We also have um suddenly increases weapon range versus I mean all of those look good, but what we'll need is we'll need um what is this down here? What, what stat are we? We're on full. Okay, so our chest armor and stuff is applying to our person. Which is going to give us a lot of defense. Not so much a lot of strength, though, so... That was a lot of damage. Okay. We got a thing, which we don't necessarily have yet. Compassionate familiar, not bad. We are looking for a way to get rid of our shit. Frost Nova going to be very helpful for hands and stuff. I apologize for uh, being silent here. Concentrating. I'm trying to figure out what moves I need to do. It is looking like Chicken has kind of doomed himself by hiding next to the boss, which is just a great plan. If I'm being honest with you. He's going to try to get me um, right away. He's gonna try to get me right away, I can see it. Um, as soon as I start running towards him, he's going to activate, and then I'm gonna have to, uh... There we go. Actually pretty harmless. Actually pretty harmless to deal with. Um, let me get uh, identify up on some of these. I don't want to lower my strength or that. I think we've identified pretty much all the bad potions, to be honest with you. Um, and if not all the bad potions, definitely uh, the most harmful potions. Oh, that's going to give me... Um... Sometimes you gotta anticipate the boxes and just jump. Uh, a lot of the times if you're mid jump and the box hits you, uh, you'll fly to your uh, destination. Oh. My instinct was not to just immediately press triangle for some reason. Um, okay, and then this is enchant, which we can kind of... Cool. You know, that's not that bad. Uh, minus the speed is probably the, the best stat that we could have gotten minus. Uh, with our enchant scroll there. But we got strength. Uh, so we are all set there. Get a free book, which is book dash, which we're going to immediately stop and give over to the fire. Now, I was planning on playing... Uh, 
I was planning on playing Darkness once or twice, but uh, it looks like that dream is all over. Is this just the first level? It is just the first level. Okay. Got that, which isn't bad. I think it's safe to say that we're not going to be using the sword anymore. Okay, we got lower intelligence found, which is uh, surprising that we still have any negative potions left. Okay, why do I have all these weapons equipped? Get rid of that one. I don't need that one. All I need is two weapons, and that's it. Teal, we're going to drink it immediately. Just because we found most of them, I feel like... Be like what's a few more you know we don't really need to waste our identify scrolls not bad and compassionate familiar actually helping us out a little bit more than maybe i am giving it credit for compassionate familiar is kind of helping us out a little bit so i appreciate i want compassionate familiar to know that i appreciate it uh, supporting me uh, okay, so that's all set. Uh, we don't really have a club. Now, I don't... Does this does this count as a club? This counts as an axe, right? It doesn't count as a club. Right? Like, clubs are super good. Um, but I feel like... We need, like, an axe user. We need, like, an axe user. Oh, wouldn't that be crazy? Is like, a person that can, like, throw these axes. And, like, you can recover it, but you can throw it for, like, double the damage. And then you just have to get really good at, like, retrieving your axe. Because, like, once you throw it, you have to, like, go get it. Um, but it'll do, like, crazy... I don't know. Hey, that, that would be overpowered, I think, just a little bit. Um, we can go strength. Uh, just because I feel like it'll help out a little bit with, um, with some damage percentages. Did we burn any books? We didn't need to burn any books, but we should have, probably. Forty critical. I know that ghost sees me. He's just fucking toying with my emotions. I can't fight this boss and have ghost on me. Dog, I'm gonna need you to fucking react. Thank you. <laughs> the ghost just appeared and my dog was like, hmm. Oh, he's doing work. Fuck me! Of course that happens. Of course, of course boss travels over to shopkeeper so that way dog and shopkeeper can have a fight. Then dog can immediately die to shopkeeper and shopkeeper can chase me down. Oh my god, that is a series of unfortunate events if I've ever seen one in my life. <sighs> I mean, options there would have been... Uh, I, I don't even know. Uh, call dog back as soon as shopkeeper got involved um if, if i could have stopped the shopkeeper interaction that would have been an easy fight easy clap easy gone <sighs> and then uh we could have gotten rid of some of our inventory there at the at the end at the smithy uh we also probably could have gotten rid of some books just to get ourselves at full health so we would be ready for uh, that kind of situation 
I don't know how low Shopkeeper was. Obviously, I don't have health bars on, but oh my god, that was dumb. That was so dumb. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was a little slow today. Um, just because we had a slow start, uh, we had uh, everything pretty much... The game was against us a lot uh, in this one, um, but we could have pulled it through even still. Uh, I just needed to play it a little bit smarter than that, and um, I just didn't happen to be not the case um thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this episode please hit the like button i really appreciate it also subscribe if you haven't done so already i'm trying to work on talking a little bit more i don't know if it came across in this episode because there's a lot of periods where i needed to be silent in order to like concentrate on stuff especially during boss fights it's real hard for me to be like well what about the what about the 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 fairy killing itself i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about anyway i'm gonna ramble on forever if i don't end the video so I hope to see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. And uh, peace out, you guys.